In this video, we're going to solve two-step equations. Just as before, we're going to use inverse operations to get x by itself, but with these equations, we'll need two steps to solve them. We're going to add or subtract first, and then multiply or divide. Let's look at an example. In this example, we're going to begin by subtracting 3 from each side of the equation. So we'll subtract 3 from the left side and subtract 3 from the right side. Then we need to bring down what's left. On the left side, we have 2x, and on the right side, 13 minus 3 is 10. Now we need to divide each side by 2 to finish getting x by itself. And on the left side, the 2's cancel, leaving us with just an x. And on the right side, 10 divided by 2 gives us an answer of x equals 5. Now let's check our work. We're going to check our work by substituting in 5 for x into our original equation. And then we need to do the math. Following the order of operations, we multiply first to get 10, plus 3 equals 13. And when we add 10 plus 3, we get 13, and 13 equals 13. So our answer checks out. Let's do another example. In this equation, the first step is to add 6 to both sides to get rid of the 6 on the side of x. And then we'll bring down what's left. So we have a 5x equals, and 19 plus 6 is 25. Then to finish getting x by itself, we need to divide both sides by 5. On the left side, the 5's cancel, leaving us with x equals, and 25 divided by 5 is 5, so x equals 5. Let's check our work by substituting in that 5 for x in the original equation. And then we need to multiply first, and we get 25 minus 6. And 25 minus 6 is 19, so we end up with 19 equals 19, and our work checks. In this example, x divided by 4 plus 3 equals 7 will again start with our addition or subtraction. In this case, we need to subtract 3 from both sides and then we have x over 4 equals 4. To finish getting x by itself, we need to do the inverse of the division and multiply each side by 4. On the left side, our 4's cancel out, leaving us with x equals 16. Now let's check our work by substituting in 16 for x in our original equation. and we divide 16 by 4 to get 4. And we can see that 7 equals 7, and our answer is correct. You can practice more of these problems in Moby Pocket and Quizler.